Hello, okay, this is uh, an example of proc mixed. We're going to use it to try uh, different options uh, in proc mix. So here, this data set is uh, for 11 girls and 6 boys for their growth measures at age 8, 10, 12, and 14. Now first, we're going to use the data uh, step to read in the data set. So we're going to read in uh, person, gender, and then Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, uh, the repeated measures. So this is the so-called the FAT format uh, with uh, one person's data uh, for one row, right? So what do we need to do is to imp input that, use the data lines, and then uh, I want you to pay attention to this uh, chunk of code. So we define a variable called y, which is equal to y1. If h equal to 8, then output. And y equal to y2, h equal to 10, uh, output. And y equal to y3, h equal to 12, output. y equal to y4, h equal to 14, output. So in the new data set, PR, we're going to have a new variable called Y, which is a repeated measure, and another variable called age, which takes a value of 8, 10, 12, and 14. Okay. So we're going to read in this, create this data set, and this will be the SYN format uh, for repeated measure analysis. Okay, now let's uh, use PROC MIX to fit a linear mix model for Y and we are going to use um, PROC MIX data equal to PR and method equal to ML so the method by default is the REMO uh, so we here we specify maximum likelihood okay and uh, the covariance test the cov test requires asymptotic standard errors on the world test for covariance parameters to be displayed okay and you need to look for the results in the outputs. And the S here in the model statement asks for uh, fixed effects parameter estimates and scale parameters in the generalized linear models. And R in the repeated statement displays blocks of estimated matrix. Okay, so repeated time type equal to N, so it's unstructured subject to the person that's the counter, the indicator for the person, and uh, R for the uh, estimated correlation matrix. So let's run this chunk, and you're going to see uh, this is the typical output for PROC mixed. Uh, this is the first uh, paragraph tell you what the model is fixed, uh, and tells you we use the model-based uh, estimate for fixed effect standard error estimate. Um, then some class level information and uh, iteration history, and this is important convergence criteria met. Okay, and then you will see the estimate R matrix for Pearson. So that's uh, uh, the uh, yeah the uh, for for person one. That's really the um, um, correlation. That the covariance uh, matrix uh, for the repeated measures. And then you get the covariance parameter estimate. Uh, that's uh, uh, not only just the, the uh, variance as a, as a parameter, the covariance estimate also gives standard errors and run a test to test if the true covariance is zero or not. Okay, so look at this column. Most, uh, this column, uh, most of them are really significant. And you get the fit statistics. So these are the AICs, the negative two log likelihood, and other information criteria. And the no model likelihood ratio test just tells tells you the model is better than an intercept alone. And here's the solution uh, for fixed effects. Okay, these are based on the model-based standard error estimates. And also the last one, you get a type three analysis. Uh, this is really important when you have categorical predictor with more than two categories. Okay. All right. So, and if you want to uh, run any linear combinations of covariance parameters, uh, what you can do is you can actually output uh, the covariance parameter estimates and the symptotic variance covariance matrix to two SAS data sets using. Uh, 
the program language inside is called IML, and then using the ODS. Okay, so uh, I'll just demonstrate how you save the data set. So you rerun the proc mixed, uh, and then you use uh, proc IML, use the CP data set and uh, then read all the variables estimate into a data set called EST and you use uh, the uh, asymptotical variance matrix estimate ASY and read all the uh, columns from P1 to P10 into ASY and now you get uh, two data sets uh, one is the uh, EST with all the uh, covariance parameter estimate and their uh, variance covariance matrix. Then you can construct linear uh, tests. So we're not going to do the linear test here, but you have the data and you can do that. Okay. Uh, also for for the fixed effects, uh, you can actually get uh, uh, some of the intercept uh, and uh, for girls and the boys separately and the slope as well uh, from uh, what you have here. Okay, just uh, plug in the uh, the dummy variable values and then uh, calculate. So on average, the intercept uh, boys are 15.843 and girls 17.0654. The slope, bo boys are 0.8268 and girls are 0.4764. So the boys uh, did grow faster than the, bo the, the girls. And you can use the type 3 test for fixed facts or F statistics. Uh, you can do a manual likelihood ratio test. Okay, but if you want to do a likelihood ratio test, then it's important for you to specify method equal to ML. Okay. All right. So now we, sta we said uh, PROC mix has two uh, statements for covariance structure. One is uh, the repeated s statement we used here repeat it and then there is uh, a random statement so we can put in random effects uh, so here we repeat the model and we use random the intercept and age uh, random slope for age and we don't assume any correlation structure and we ask for uh, Pearson um, correlation structure um, and uh, then let's run this So this is uh, when you run the um, run the uh, using the random uh, effect model, uh, it give you uh, similar um, outputs, um, and it also give you the estimate the G matrix. So that's really for the random um, random effects. Okay, so you have the G and you have the R, remember the covariance structure, you have two matrices. This gives you the G matrix. And uh, for mean effects, it still gives similar the fixed effects estimation and the type 3 uh, test. Okay. And so here we have the unstructured and uh, it's the model converted. We have sufficient data there. Uh, but what if you want uh, really uh, simplify the covariance structure, you can try the compound symmetry model. So what you can do is here, and then you get different uh, uh, estimates here. Um, and uh, you can get the, uh, one thing we can get is the uh, ICC, okay, it's an intra-class correlation coefficient. We can use the numbers computed under the CS model. So we get uh, the um, So it is the 3.0306. Uh, okay, this one uh, adding to the residual one, 1.8746, and divide uh, become the total variance. So the um, so the ICC is uh, actually around 0.6178. Okay. Um, but if you want to directly compute um, ICC, you can add the RCORR option, repeated statement. Okay, so here we can do that by rerun another uh, mixed effects model by using the R core 
um, option. So here you have the estimated uh, R matrix. Uh, that's from the repeated measures. Uh, and then you have the correlation matrix. Our correlation here, you can get the ICC, 0 0.617. Uh, uh, OK, same here. Um, then, uh, interestingly, uh, you can uh, model the similar, uh, you can get the exact same result uh, using a random statement as compared to the repeated statement here, right? Uh, so you can just put the per person uh, into the um, a as a random effect. Okay. So here you run, and you can see you get an identical um, parameter estimate here, and uh, type three. Um, We have, uh, wait a minute. Are we, um, yeah, yeah. We have the age uh, and age by gender interaction. And uh, then we have exactly the same numbers here. OK. Um, and you will think about that, why that's the case. And also, the last point is we can, uh, if you ask, there may be heterogeneity by the groups, by boys and the girls, OK? So you can uh, fit uh, two separate models by using a group option under the repeated measures. So here is the chunk. You just add group equal to gender in the repeated statement. And now, what, what does it look like is uh, it's going to tell you uh, this one, OK? and. Um, so the dimensions, um, duration history, um, solutions for fixed effects, and uh, then uh, the uh, type 3 estimate. Okay. And uh, you can um, actually look for the uh, fit statistics. The AIC become 424.8, and which is uh, lower than the previous homogeneous uh, group model. And the difference of the negative two log likelihoods is 19.8 compared to the critical value of chi-square 2 yields a p-value of 0.01. So this does um, improve the model fit.